respect and renome in the world, Amnesty International came with very clear statements on this issue. As Mrs. Rajagi said, there is a convention in the United Nations in which, for which also the world has organized to respect, especially Sweden was among one of the first members, countries who ratified that, uh, this is the responsibility to protect R2P. So this is not only a sort of a, a sort of a kindness from the world community to react. It is a liability, it is an obligation by the world community to react and to protect people who are in, endangered by a foreign country or by a, a group of countries or by a group of soldiers. And Madame Pillai, she has to try to make this observation post permanent and established uh, within the Ashraf uh, uh, facilities. They need the UN system protection in order to do this. I suggest that in the Nordic countries we form a sort of a group of the people influential from Iceland to Denmark, Finland, and other Nordic countries like the Balkan, Baltic countries, and try to uh, influence our governments in order to take up this case directly within the United Nations system. Thank you very much. I'm a lawyer. I'm supposed to be very non-emotional. But when I saw this video today, I couldn't just be non-emotional. I've been myself in Ashraf in 2004. I recognize this place. I recognize these people. I'm not sure how many of my clients have been wounded. Already, at least three of my clients have been killed, two of them in 2009, and now uh, Hanif, a Swedish citizen, was killed. I wrote immediately to the Swedish Foreign Office demanding that they do something. Who are these people that we saw on this video? Did any of you see any weapon in the hand of any of these people? No. I've been there. In 2004, there were no weapons. People's Mujahideen has been in Ashraf since 1986. That's a long time. They are all refugees in one way or another from Iran. They are all in addition. After the agreement with the United States military forces in Iraq, protected persons according to the Fourth Geneva Convention. This convention is crystal clear. You may not attack these people. You may not imprison these people. You may not deprive them of medical treatment. You may not deprive them of food, clothing, shelter. And you may not move them. There is no excuse, no legal explanation or excuse for the actions of the Iraqi military against protected persons unarmed civilians. 